Hi everyone. Okay, so what I want to do is something a little bit different. I want to create a flower bed, but I don't want it to be a straight line. And I'm doing this while my husband isn't here because I told him I was going to plant some stuff like by the tree. Now that's the tree over there, but I think I'm going to move it up a little bit. And I just figure if I just go ahead and do it now, once he comes back, it's already done. And I doubt if it could be undone. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my geometry, yeah, some of my geometry to the test because what I want to do is get my midpoint and then I'm going to put a piece of string and kind of make like a half moon circle. So I'm not going to leave the camera running because I take a lot of breaks while I'm working and it's hot out here. Sometimes I go inside and come out a little bit, but I'm hoping it stays like this because it's the wind is nice. And so we'll see what we get. I also got some pavers that I want to put down, but I'm hoping this tiller, once I get everything marked out, will speed up the time for me to create this um, and put some plants in and then let everything start growing and kind of reassess the area okay so my geometry didn't work so i'm doing what you call eye in it i still have to make a couple adjustments so what i do is i kind of step back and look at it come in through the gate from all angles and also take pictures so basically what i'm doing is i'm creating like a um like a half circle shape and the hydrangeas in the back um, according to the plant tag they get like six to eight feet our fence is six feet so I hope I can keep them like right at that over time and they say to space some um, I want to say five to eight feet apart which is good and then the reason why I didn't take the pavers all the way to the back so that'll give the hydrangeas some growing room once they start to grow and uh, get bigger and so right in the front I want to put like some annuals there and then I have some clearance angelonias that I'm also going to put in and um, just put some mulch on top so it's kind of it's not a really big job it's just hot out here I feel like my body is overheating but I want to get it done so I'm going to use the tiller and go ahead and till up this area. I didn't have an extra hose, so I used some of the tubing from like the Proven Winners um, drip line and just put some garden staples in there. I just have to make sure that I be careful not to get that hung up in the tiller. So I'm going to go ahead and till. And then I, I'm, I have some garden soil that I'm going to mix in with some lime and some starter fertilizer. Um, the pavers are 12 inches and I want them to be like flush with the ground. So I'll dig that out and we'll see how it looks. We'll see how everything looks. I am racing with time here. So my local big box store here does not rent equipment because I know that a sod removal will probably be so much better. But what I did is I tilled, got up as much grass that I could and I tilled again. And so now I am going to try to get up a little bit more grass. I'm gonna lay down the pavers and then um, that'll give me like a, a key point and then I am going to um, plant the hydrangeas first. I'm gonna leave my little um, tubing down because what I'll do is I'll take like the spade what really makes it nice and neat and go around the outline and put that there. And then the angelonias that I got on clearance, I'm going to put them in there for now on each side. I have pink and white. And then I put the um, mulch down. So that's why I told you guys that I have to turn this off because I've been inside. It got like really hot. I don't know if my body was like overheating. And so I stayed inside for like 45 minutes, but I'm trying to get done. I'm trying to get this done today. Um, but the groundbreaking part has been done. So like I said, if my husband doesn't like it, guess what? It's already done. So let me go ahead and try to get finished with the pavers and then we'll put the hydrangeas in and I will come back after I put the angelonias in and then I'll come back. 
Okay, so I'm popping back on, and as I'm looking through this camera, those two pavers are not even, but let me tell y'all, it's hot. I had to go in there and lay down on the floor for like at least 30 minutes and just cool down. And so I took into account where our sprinklers were. I made sure I did that, but what I didn't take into account is these big tree roots that I had to pull up and cut, and I think they got the best of me. And I'm telling y'all, it was hot and I'm wrestling with tree roots and trying to get these pavers straight. The way I laid these pavers, I don't suggest anybody do it that way. Um, so we're just gonna call them whimsical. And so I wanna go ahead and get everything planted, but I'm just hot and I gotta go to work tomorrow. And I don't know why I do this to myself. Every Sunday is I take on the hardest project and knowing that I'm gonna be tired tomorrow, but I will come back and show you like the final product. So I wanna show y'all real quick what I've done. I'm at a stopping point. I have to get up at 4.30 in the morning. I think I done stirred up sand gnats, mosquitoes, and I think if I stay out here another five to 10 minutes, I am gonna be on the ground and nobody's gonna find me till Wednesday. That's how exhausted I am, but I wanted to come to a point where I only had to do a little bit left. And like I said, I wanted to do enough so that when my husband came home, it was irreversible. So let me just go over what I did. I planted these um, hydrangeas that I got and they are, they say they're full sun. Let me show y'all. It says full sun. And this is the one where it turns pink as it gets older and they get about five to eight feet tall and five to eight feet wide. So that's why I planted them so far apart. But until they get big enough to cover this area right here, I planted some annuals. This is the Angelonia. These are pink right here in the middle that um, I got the whole flat for $5. So I planted those and hopefully they'll fill in. And then I just um, filled in the Angelonias like pink, white, pink because I bought a flat of pink, a flat of white, but I also use some in my garden. Now, I was going for just like a, I just didn't want a straight line, but I actually like this sunken effect um, that was created. It wasn't my intention, but I actually like it. So this to me is like on a hill that slopes. So we have some more Angelonias in front and I hope they'll fill in. Um, they grow about a feet apart, I think. I put them a feet apart and it grows like 10 to 12 inches, I wanna say. So I hope they fill in really nice. And then I have a miniature rose plant that is in a, um, oh gosh, that's in a pot right now that I plan on putting right here. So we'll see how it looks and how it goes. So this is what I have left to do. And I'm gonna come back and show you the end product. Now I was trying to go ahead and line out everything. Um, but if I get on that, uh, if I get on that kneeling pad again, I'm serious y'all, I'm probably gonna fall over. So I still gotta tidy up around here. And then what I always do is put like compost on top. So I'm gonna put compost on the top layer. I'm gonna plant my rose and then I'm gonna put the mulch on there. And I'm hoping that the sprinkler system um, does not, is not too harsh on these plants. But anyway, I have to go y'all. Um, I'm gonna go and shower and then I'll come back hopefully tomorrow if I'm not, exhausted because I've been on vacation and I already know um, my email is probably full of nice things waiting on me. So I'll come back again once I am done with everything and we'll show you the progress. So I'm walking to the side so that the sun doesn't like beam on you, but I just wanted to show you everything. I'm pretty much done. Um, I gave myself like 45 minutes to be out here and it's now like an hour in 15 minutes but okay so I went ahead and put the mulch on everything put the mulch on everything I still have to come back and go around the edges and make that a little bit more tidier so I'm gonna do that but what I did do was the rows that I had in a smaller pot that really needed to be repotted I put it in here 
And let me just tell you, this white roll smells so good. I'm now wishing that the whole thing was white, but it's mixed with like white and red and it has some more blooms coming on. So I'm hoping that it is the white. Um, one thing that I forgot to do, like with my hydrangeas, um, I was supposed to put a piece of cardboard down and then cover it up with the mulch, but it slipped my mind. I'm not moving it and the sand gnats or whatever bugs out here, I think they're still pissed off at me for stirring them up um, yesterday. But this is pretty much it and I'll make sure that I also include the finished product in our July tour, but I'm pretty much done. And what I want to do also is get two spotlights and put them like on each side and just tidy up the edges and just watch it grow and hope that they adapt to this um to this area over here like i said i did find a lot of earthworms in here which to me that's a good sign so i hope you all enjoyed this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also share it with your family and your friends and if you're not a subscriber we would absolutely love to have you as a subscriber so make sure you tap the bell so that you can receive notification each and every time we upload a video again thank you so so much for watching and until the next video bye bye